Ed Curran now in the plate, which is where a lot of the damage has occurred. He joins us now live on the ground. Ed, what's going on? What up? We're here in the plate. There are a number of houses that are behind us here that have been damaged today. We're here with Kim French. She owns one of those homes. How badly damaged is your home? I know you just gave us some uh, photos of it. It's bad. I, um, windows are shattered. I have like no roof. Um, it's it's just bad. I it's so hard to explain. <laughs> I have no back much backyard. The, the fences are gone in the back. My shed's gone. Everything. Just Were you home when this happened? Yes. Yeah, explain it to me. Uh, explain what happened. Um, I was upstairs in my living room. I heard a big loud noise. I heard him look down my front window. I seen um, one of the circuit breakers get hit. The train signals behind us went on. And next thing I know, I headed towards the basement. And that's when I heard a big whistle. And next thing I know, it hit us. How in the train keeps going off here, though no train is coming. Uh, how many of your neighbors' homes were also hit? Oh, everyone around us was um, pretty much from the tracks behind us to towards out the nursing home is pretty much a lot of it's damaged. Heavily damaged or destroyed? Um, pretty between heavily damaged and destroyed. It's uh, between both. And about how many homes would you say in total? It's hard to say between the homes because I know around the corner from us up the street, I heard a lot of it's damaged really bad and not destroyed. Uh -huh. And how about the nursing home? I heard the nursing home, it, it's very bad, extremely bad. Okay. Any injuries? I haven't heard of any injuries, which is a good thing. So you haven't heard of any injuries or deaths out here. That certainly is good news. Uh, power lines are down all over the place here. It's all dark and uh, hopefully things will be made safe. They do have uh, the power company and the gas company coming in here. Until now, you can't go to your home, can you? No, I can't go to my home. They smell gas leak around the house, so we can't even go down to the house. Okay. We can't do anything at all. I had to uh, evacuate the house. I had to get my son and uh, another uh, person out of our house and our dog. And where did you take shelter? Um, we came down right now to the Nate Plate Village Hall. And where did you take shelter when the tornado came through? Oh, uh, we went down to my basement and we had a little cubby hole between the washer and dryer. But we still heard glass shattering. We heard the whole thing go through. So when you stand at your home and you look around, what do you see in your neighborhood? Not a whole lot. I see a lot of open space that I've never seen before. Everything is pretty much on the ground. It's damaged completely. I have never seen that much openness in my neighborhood as I do now. Right, and as we said, power is out. And uh, best of luck to you, and we'll be talking with some of your neighbors here in a little bit. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, all right. Uh, that is Kim French. Her home was uh, just heavily, heavily damaged here in Plate, Illinois.